Let's take a look at the next modifier, Wiggle Path. Create a line and apply Wiggle Path. Eight settings are added. Let's look into every one of them. Size affects the deviation of angle points from the basic line. Detail increases or decreases the number of new angles. The point setting has two items, corner and smooth. Wiggle second is responsible for the constant speed of oscillation. Let's watch this animation with a value of 2. And now change it to 10. You can only animate this parameter using toggle hold keyframe, which means the animation won't be smooth. It doesn't look nice, so you can animate speed with another parameter, temporal phase. We'll have a look at it later. OK, the next set is correlation. Visually, it also changes the number of details, but using this, you can animate another parameter, spatial phase. Let's set it on 90. Temporal phase affects the oscillations. You can animate it smoothly, unlike wiggle second. For example, let's make it 1x, then increase the speed to 5x. And then there will be a smooth decreasing till 0. Voila! Spatial phase can move our oscillations to the left and right. Let me remind you that it only works with the correlation value set. Let's animate it from 0 to 1x. And finally, random seed. You can control the change of oscillations by using it. At first, set 0 and then the number of oscillations that our line would make. We can see that the animation is jerky, as if with pasteurized effect. So, as you can see, you can create an equalizer effect with wiggle path. Or you can create a pulse effect. To do this, add correlation and animate spatial phase. Plus, you can also use it to create hand drawing animation effect. Animate the random seed value and don't forget to set wiggle second to zero. And if you set the details value to zero, then you can create such an amorphous shape. I hope this modifier has become clearer to you and you will use it in your work. Thanks and see ya!